Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. Gold and silver hit a speed bump, but they shall press forward, at least in my opinion. Let's explore! <laughs> Yes, indeed, we've seen a pretty big rise in gold and silver prices over the last few weeks here and continue to march on. We've had a pretty big pullback before, and we're seeing it again today, um, but I think it's just another speed bump. Um, really, that's really what amounts to with the previous one, but uh, I believe that um, the precious metals will continue to climb upwards and we're going to talk a little bit about that here as we explore an article here from Market Watch. Gold prices end lower, and they decline more than 2% as dollar skid abates. In other words, the dollar is kind of, you know, holding its own. And we're going to be fighting with the dollar, the gold and silver are. And it's going to be a tough fight, I think, from here on out. But I believe I'm bullish in the long run in terms of gold and silver compared to where the dollar has been going, especially with what the Federal Reserve has been doing. And so gold prices settled sharply lower Wednesday from this article from Market Watch, ending a two-day string of gains as U.S. dollar halted its skid and as commodity investors watched for minutes from the Federal Reserve's July policy meeting which could provide further insights on the central banker's outlook for the U.S. and global business. Well, we did get that. Uh, it, it, the, uh, the market, the Fed minutes push back yield on yield curve control program, which helped to further bring the price down from this article from Kitco from Niels Christensen. The gold market remains under pressure, failing the, uh, falling to session lows after the Federal Reserve saw said it saw little benefits from a yield curve control program, according to the minutes from the central bank's July monetary policy meeting. Uh, selling pressure on the gold market picked up as the minutes from the July monetary policy meeting showed some reluctance from the Fed to cap bond yields, uh, which bode well for the dollar and everything else. December gold futures last traded in 1951.90 an ounce, down 3% on the day. Uh, at the same time, the latest minutes shed little light on any new initiatives from the central bank. The committee also didn't rule out a use of yield cap if financial conditions worse, worsen. Of those participants who discussed this option, most judged that yield caps and targets would likely provide only modest benefits in the current environment, the minute said. In light of these concerns, many participants judged that yield caps and targets were not warranted in the current environment, but should remain an option that the committee could reassess in the future if circumstances change. So that bode well for, apparently that, that means, or is interpreted as the economy may be starting to recover. We'll find out. And there's other options here that are, aren't mentioned here that I'll talk about momentarily. Although it appears that a yield curve control program is off the table right now, the minutes said that the central bank is ready to act if the economy continues to slow or moves in the other direction. Participants reaffirmed their com uh, commitment to using the Federal Reserve's full range of tools, which, by the way, some fear could lead to negative interest rates, to support the U.S. economy during this challenging time, the minute said. They noted that the path of the economy would depend significantly on the course of the virus and that the ongoing public health crisis would weigh heavily on economic activity, employment, and inflation in the near term and pose considerable risk to the economic outlook over the median term. And uh, one thing about the virus concern about, you know, that Georgia apparently appears to be kind of a growing hot spot, but that is really, when you think about the numbers, that's compared to uh, the lowering of the virus cases in Florida, Arizona, and those other hot spots. And really they're kind of lowering in Georgia too, but just not as much. So they're now considered a hot spot. But, you know, the media spins things the way they're going to spin them. You have to always be careful. Um, not only has the Federal Reserve pushed back, as the article continues here, on the idea of capping bond yields, but economists note that it appears the Federal Reserve is in a transition period as it weighs its monetary policy response 
in reaction to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. That makes me a little bit nervous, too, because what is what's happening there in Jackson Hole, Wyoming? Well, there's an economic forum that's going on, too, where some people feel like they're taking advantage of this whole crisis for a total reset, an economic reset everywhere, which it would up to and include the dollar as well. A number of participants noted that providing greater clarity regarding the likely path of the target range for the federal funds rate would be appropriate at some point. Uh, more broadly, in discussion, the policy outlook and a number of participants observed that completing a revised statement of longer run goals and monetary policy strategy uh, would be very helpful in providing an overreaching framework that would help guide the committee's future policy actions and communications. Um, so there's that from the Federal Reserve. And but, you know, they've been printing money like it's going out of style and always makes the markets nervous, especially with gold and silver, considering uh, how it really hurts the dollar. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it is very interesting indeed to see where that is and going on there. U.S. lawmakers going back to the Market Watch um, article here says that meanwhile, they are trying to reignite stalled talks that could see a smaller coronavirus relief package released. Fed policymakers have pers persistently warned of limits of their ability to prop up the economy, and financial markets have been encouraged Congress uh, to provide more fiscal stimulus to extend the recovery from COVID-19. Financial markets will likely expect the Fed will be disappointed with the latest fiscal stimulus deal seems to be dwindling, and that the raise of bar for extra support, wrote Edward Moya, senior market analyst, in Oanda, in a note, said in a note, gold is uh, mostly prospered in an environment of easy money policies and uncertainty generated by the global viral outbreak. And it talks about where gold is for December. We talked about that before. Silver prices retreated as well, pretty handedly. And But what's not mentioned here, you know, other than talking about the dollar softening to fresh two-year lows on Tuesdays has abated somewhat. The buck was actually up at 92.69, as gauged by the ICE U.S. dollar index, which is a measure of uh, the strength of the dollar against a half dozen other currencies. That's going to be hard to bring much lower or too much because it is a, uh, uh, you know, gold is the top dog in, in a breadbasket of currencies that aren't doing very well, um, you know, when it's used uh, for uh, exchanges. Um, and 60% of other nations where transactions are made in the dollar, and uh, it's the top dog in the world breadbasket of, of currencies from the IMF, you know, they've got to hold on to something, as I mentioned about what Turkey is doing, they're holding on to that dollar um, as well as holding on and buying gold with it as well. But there's other things that weren't mentioned here, but as is, is mentioned in others, that could have had a play to a role on gold and silver going down, and that is the S&P 500 score record closes. They have reclaimed their all-time highs for the S&P 500 and NASDAQ. Uh, that is also giving some confidence. Now, obviously, these are propped up by fiscal stimulus. Um, that's what it is. This is beyond relief now. These are stimulus measures going in place there. That's money printed, propping up the stock market. Really, it's a shame. But it does bode well and it keeps people happy, right? It is sort of like an injection of steroids, uh, which we've been there. We've seen this this type of thing before, and we'll continue on for 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 sure. Now, there's also record um, profits from Target, and Walmart has been doing very well too. Other businesses have done well. Amazon. There's other these other companies that within an online world where you're uh, doing things of necessities and that type of thing. Obviously, we've seen uh, Clorox stock do very well. And uh, so there's some sectors of the economy that have actually been emboldened by this in spite of the employment situation. So it's a shifting of, economic, uh, of economics here. And that is something to be said. And notwithstanding, they're doing all of this um, with a flood of cash, um, and uh, liquidity into the markets. And so we're really propped up at this point. You know, I'm not a doom and gloomer, but make no mistake, the debt is something that we're going to have to, uh, it's going to rear its ugly head 
at one point or another. We can only do so much deficit spending and so much before something happens with the debt. What that will be, who knows? And how that will manifest itself, who knows? But my guess is, is that this dollar reset or this economic reset is probably coming. We're a lot closer now than ever before. And uh, But who knows when that will be? I won't even pretend to try to guess. But look where gold and silver are right now. Unfortunately, I made a purchase before this big dip, which really sucks. I hate that, but it seems to be a normal thing. Uh, but there it is. Uh, gold down almost $75, down uh, three and uh, three quarters percent. And for gold and silver, it has dropped even more. As you know, I've, as I've mentioned many times, silver is more volatile than gold. But both metals are volatile right now. It's a volatile time. Platinum is down substantially too. Um, and so is palladium. Um, but uh, nonetheless, there's where the metals are right now. And of course, the reflection is the gold and silver ratio has increased a bit, 72.8 right now for the gold to silver ratio. Um, you know, silver is now under $27 an ounce and has a long way to go to catch up to gold in terms of the normal gold to silver ratio, which really is around between 55 and 65 to 1 uh, based off the last, you know, 10, 12 years or so. But uh, there you have it. That's the news of the day of where the metals and why they are down today. It'll be interesting to be, indeed to see where it goes tomorrow the next day. I believe this is just a speed bump and that the metals will rebound and probably recover their losses. So I uh, hope, hope you found this video insightful um, and I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below and extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.